On October 29, 1941, the Germans were conducting relentless bombing campaigns on England. Dazed and confused, the people of England were most assuredly ready to throw in the towel and surrender when their leader, Winston Churchill, delivered one of the most famous speeches of the Second World War when he had this to say, Never give up. Never give in. Never give in. Never, never, never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in. That's it. Three simple little words, choice words of encouragement to a downtrodden people looking for hope, never give up. And as much as we attribute the never give up slogan to Mr. Churchill, Bible lovers everywhere know he didn't come up with the notion of hanging in there for the long haul. Check it out in Romans 5, 3, and 4 where this new breed of Christians was coming under enormous pressure and persecution and wondering aloud if following this man Christ was the way to go or not. In fact, the Apostle Paul, seeing their struggles and their dismay over them, says to hang in there and to not give up when things get tough, but rather to rejoice in their sufferings. He takes it one step further in 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 12, by reminding them that they are going to go through struggles and to not be distressed. And while he knew that they would be perplexed, he reminded them that with the help of God, they would not fall into despair. In other words, never, ever give up. So what will be required of us to stay in the game when the struggles of life come our way and not give up? Well, according to Luke 21, 19, it will require a ton of patience. Patience aided by the hand of God. Notice in Psalm 37, 24, we are reminded that though we might fall, we will not be overwhelmed, for the Lord is holding our hand. James 1.12 says, Blessed is the man who basically never gives up. Yet the thought of giving up is a natural tendency because sometimes, well, let's face it, it's just easier to throw in the towel and give up. You see, in our own strength, our patience wears thin, which is good because when it does, we are reminded just how much we need the hand of God. And maybe that's you right now. You're going through the loss of a loved one, a sickness, the loss of money, or even the worries of what inflation will do to your money. And as a result, your patience is wearing thin and giving up now is certainly an option. If so, my advice is to be patient and stay the course. Never give up, but maintain a faith that endures now and know this, that there is a hope laid up for you in heaven. So grab on tight, hold on to the promises of God, and I assure you that the worries of this world will fade away. And that, my friend is some good news about patience that you can take to the bank. Amen? Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips. And be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.